Nobody's great when they're not tired. The champions is when they're tired, that's when the real champions come out. That's when a real dog come out. Because if you go piss like a puppy, stay on the porch and let the big dogs eat. Let them on the fucking field. Have some heart. And we're down. What is going on, Big Body Team? Welcome to episode number seven of the Road to Pro series. We have a highly, highly anticipated, highly requested full day of eating, but this time it's going to be a low carb edition. I've been doing three days straight of low carbs. I'm feeling the effects. I'm very hungry, I'm very tired, but this is the sacrifices we need to make to get shredded. Of course, I'm Big J, you may also know me as James. Let's get into this full day of eating. We have meal number one prepared right here. Last episode of the full day of eating, I didn't include any macros, but today I'm gonna include everything, how much I'm eating, the macros of each meal, but I must, must make one thing clear. Please do not follow this full day of eating. This full day of eating is not healthy, and this meal plan is specifically made for me, right? Take that with what you will. Before we get into this meal, we have a package right here that I want to unbox with you guys. This is a little bit of a treat that I got myself. Probably not the smartest financial decision I've made in my life, but um, sometimes you gotta spoil yourself, right? Um, yeah, let's get right into this package. Y'all make your guesses up in your head right now. And while I have you at the beginning of this video, go ahead and like and subscribe to this video. Support your boy. This is episode number seven of this series. I've been really going crazy with this series and I really appreciate all the support that I've received so far. And you liking and sharing this video and giving a watch time only helps me reach a larger audience. So I really appreciate you guys. Let's get into this unboxing. What do we got here? Oh shoot. You probably guessed it, we got some shoes. This is going to be shoe number one. And of course, shoe number two. And finally, I'm kidding, we just have two, All right? Let's see what we got. First package, we'll open this black one, just because it looks sick, right? Boom. Oh shoot! These are clean. So I got a bunch of GBT tanks that are like light brown and brown. And of course I have the black, gray, and white. So I figured I wanted like a neutral shoe. And then this like, I don't know if this is like a leopard print or a cork type print, but this shoe is sick. Very basic, very neutral. I have to clarify, I'm not a sneakerhead. I just like the shoe, to be honest with you guys. Um, and I wanted some dunks because I feel like dunks will fit my style well. So that's gonna be shoe number one. Y'all let me know what you think about that in the comments. Shoe number two. This one's got a little bit of pop to it. Oh shit. These are sick. These look way better than the picture I got. Boom. Another pair of dunks. These are like, what, green or cyan or something like that? Cool colors. So let me know what y'all think of those. Um, which one is y'all's favorite? Let me know. I personally like the brown one. I think I'm gonna wear that one a lot more. With that being said, let's get into the actual purpose of this video. We got meal number one right here. It's going to be two ounces of avocado, and then we have some egg whites right here, and we also have one egg. We have 10 ounces of egg whites and one whole egg. I also have a caffeinated beverage. This is my second of the day. And then of course, we have a zero calorie sauce. That's, number t that's tip number one for this video. Get yourself some zero calorie sauces, especially since we're 16 days out from my show. I have to make sure that these are going to be perfectly zero calories, just so I don't have any factors affecting my physique and how much calories I'm actually intaking. But macros and calories are going to be on the screen. Um, of course, we don't get any carbs for this first meal. But yeah, that's gonna be meal number one. I'm gonna chow down on this and we'll see y'all for meal number two. Alrighty guys, we have meal number two. Like I said, it's a low carb day, so all we have is five ounces of chicken and a serving of greens. Here's a little bit of a tip for y'all, right? Let's say you're eating a low amount of calories and you don't wanna eat too many calories in a certain meal, or maybe you wanna save calories for the night, right? You have a party, you're socializing, it's your mom's birthday, whatever it is. I highly recommend, this is a tip for me, I highly recommend eating high protein meals and very low carb and fat meals throughout the beginning of the day and saving the carbs and fats to enjoy yourself later in the day. So 
It's essentially you're eating the same amount throughout a day, but you're just leaving it more towards one meal. First meal was egg whites, eggs. Second meal is just chicken, asparagus. Now, let's say if I wasn't on a bodybuilding prep, I have a lot more calories to play with at the end of the day, right? I'm already getting my lean meats, so I already have my good quality protein in. I can enjoy myself later at night. Obviously, take that with what you will. Don't go too crazy, but you do have some calories and some carbs and fats to play with. So that's my, that's my tip for you guys. Save calories for the end of the day. Really capitalize on these lean protein meals so you can enjoy yourself at the end of the day. This is gonna be meal number two. Calories, macros on the screen, you already know what it is. I'm gonna dive into this, we'll see y'all for meal number three. Alrighty guys, we got meal number three ready to go. Finally, I get some carbs. We have some cream of rice and a little bit of almond butter. To be exact, we have 2.2 ounces of cream of rice, 0.7 ounces of almond butter, and about one and a half scoops of protein powder. It's funny because on my meal plan, my coach has written for me, he does ounces instead of grams, and I'm so used to grams, so it's so weird saying like 0.7 ounces of almond butter. Anyways, I personally grew up all my life hating oatmeal. And for bodybuilding, it was like this common food, right? It was like chicken and rice. It was like a staple. Like you had to eat oatmeal in order to get gains. So I went through phases trying to eat oatmeal, trying to force myself to eat oatmeal, and that led me to hating it even more. But cream of rice has been an absolute game changer for me uh, because it's, sa it's basically the same thing as oatmeal. Um, but it's actually way better in my opinion. A lot easier to get down, but yeah. This is gonna be the first carb meal of the day and one of the only carb meals of the day. So, your boy's very, very excited to get this down. Again, calories, macros on the screen, you already know what it is. I'm gonna chow down on this, I'm gonna enjoy this because this is gonna be one of my only carb meals of the day. Other than that, we'll see y'all for meal number four, which is gonna be another carb meal, and then the rest of the day is gonna be pretty rough after that. We'll see y'all there. All right, guys, we're whipping up meal number four. The time is currently 4.30, and we have three meals left. This is going to be my last carb meal, like I said in the previous clip. We're gonna make this one nice and pretty. We're gonna make this one actually taste good. We're making like almost a stir fry, right? So we're warming up the rice in the pan right now. We're gonna throw some cilantro in there, as you can see. Got that prepped up. Just a little bit, nothing crazy. Let that cook up, and then we're gonna throw in a little bit of lime on top of that. Just like that, just to add some flavor, make your food taste good. And then we will be adding our lean meat, and then I also cooked up some asparagus right over there. Guys, I don't know if you knew this, but I do have a free cookbook linked in the description. So if you wanna have some anabolic meals, there's a ton of recipes. I think there's th around 30 anabolic recipes there. High protein, there's some low calorie, there's some moderate calorie, obviously some higher calorie foods. Go check that out, man. It's absolutely free. It's in the description. And yeah, we're gonna whip up this meal and I'll show you all the final product. All right, guys, meal number four. You see what I mean? This is a regular turkey rice and greens dish with a little bit of flair, right? I put some effort into this one. Obviously, it's gonna taste better than if it weren't to have um, been cooked on the stove. So, with limited calories, I kinda gotta be smart, have some fun with the foods that I do have. So, um, yeah, this is going to be meal number four. Of course, calories, macros on the screen. I'm gonna absolutely enjoy this, and then we'll see y'all for Meal number five, we'll see you there. Meal number five, we got another depressing meal, let me tell you. All we have is greens and meat, but these are the sacrifices you have to make to be great. If it was easy, everyone would do it. So five ounces of chicken, one serving of greens, and while before I eat this meal, I wanted to talk about natural bodybuilding and bodybuilding in general, right? So I feel like there's a common misconception because all we see on social media is like these big freaky, you know, bodybuilders that are using, using gear obviously. And it's like, just because we see that on a day-to-day -day basis, people might think or assume that they can't do the same thing or they can't compete just because they're natural. 
I personally respect both people who are natural and unnatural who compete in bodybuilding. I have a lot of friends who are unnatural that compete and I look up to a lot of people who are unnatural that compete. But just because you aren't their size or you aren't their look, doesn't mean that should stray you away from competing and essentially becoming a better person. Testing yourself, how far you can take your body and achieving something that you would be proud of till the day you die. So don't let the fact that you don't look like the freaks, the Olympians, veer you away from stepping on stage. Now, obviously I say that loosely, to be competitive, you have to have a certain amount of size, but me personally, I've competed against people who are on gear and there are certain variables you can control, right? How shred you get, your proportions, right? How you, the muscle looks on you and your posing. The only thing that you can't really control is size. Obviously, they're gonna have the advantage in that sense, but those other things you can control. So yes, it is very much possible for you to compete with these guys who are on gear um, and potentially beat them. And there's also leagues like the league I'm competing in, trying to get my pro card that is just strictly natural, right? They do the urine tests, they do the polygraph and stuff like that. So guys, what I'm saying is I highly recommend you step on stage if it's something that you wanna pursue, push yourself to the test. I personally love it. It's something that makes me a better version of myself. So don't let the social norms veer you away from the sport. I would love to see more natural bodybuilders, right? I wanna see this league take off, or unnatural, right? So that's what I have to say on that. I'm gonna eat this chicken and greens and we'll see y'all for the final meal, which is gonna be decently fun, actually. We'll see you there. All right, guys, for the final meal of the day, we have a little bit of a treat. We get this Ninja Creamy. If y'all have seen the hype on the Ninja Creamy, it is definitely worth the investment, especially if you were trying to cut or just eat more anabolic meals in general. So how does this Ninja Creamy work? Basically, you get this container, right? And then you put some protein powder, some water, you mix it up and you put it here, you freeze it. And then we have this special contraption right here to basically make ice cream. It's a literal hack. So on my meal plan, I have one and a half scoops of protein powder. Instead of drinking protein powder, getting boring with it, we get to have ice cream. Absolutely insane. I don't know how it makes the, I don't know how it makes the ice cream like consistency, but it does. Basically what you do is you put this ice cream tub in this thing, you close it up right here. Oh, I'm doing a terrible job recording. You close it up, you put it in the machine like this, right, rotate it. It then goes up to the blade, turn it on. That's how easy it is. Click this button and now you wait. It's gonna take like a minute, so I'll get to y'all back when it's done with the first spin. The first spin is done, let's see how she's looking. Basically, you just take it out of this contraption. Uh, I cannot do this. Basically, you spin it out like that, take this out, undo the lid, pop it open. Jesus, I'm terrible at recording. And then it kind of looks like this. I mix it around, see if it needs another spin. This one might need another one. Yeah, so this one's a little hard. I guess I can eat it, but I like to do a respin. So we're gonna put it in for a respin and then I'll show y'all the finished product. Let me get it in some light. As you can see, perfectly made ice cream. When you smush it together, it's nice and creamy. It's crazy. I really don't know how they do this, but it's somehow done. As you can see right there, 10 out of 10, especially when you're on prep, you get to have ice cream, it's, it's insane. It's like the one thing I look forward to every single day. Obviously, if you're not in a strict prep, you could put like stuff in it, nuts, strawberries, little things like protein cups, like the peanut butter cups, um, anything really. Chocolate syrup. You can make this thing super fun. So get yourself a Ninja Creamy. Them things are insane, but with that being said, this is gonna be meal number six. It's basically just a protein shake, so I don't know if you would count this as a meal. But 16 days out, guys. I'm gonna upload this video tomorrow because that's how crazy I am. That's how, um, that's how bad I wanna get this series out to you guys. I've been really enjoying recording this series and just documenting everything. I'm really glad that y'all liked the last full day of eating. Um, so that's why I was kind of excited to get this one out as well. Kind of show y'all a low carb day, but like I said, 16 days out, I'm super, super 
blessed to be able to do this, go through this prep, be healthy, be optimistic, have a good morale about this. So let's bring this thing home. 16 days out, we're as hungry as we were at the start. We're starving for this. Let's see if we get a pro card in 16 days. That's gonna be the end of today's video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. That's gonna be it for Big J. We'll see y'all later. Peace.